what is going on everybody welcome my name is Elprint, and welcome back to yet another reaction video now today I have another video made by Evan Royalty this is another one of the older SCP videos that he's made a long time ago I didn't really and as far as I can tell I quickly glanced over the line to see what it was it's not another live action video but I really hope it wish it, it was because the reaction because the video he made of dollhouse I think I recorded that last week or two weeks ago at this point and that video was on point with scariness. It actually, it's actually kind of something I want to do with an SCP project that I'm working on off screen and everything else. That I won't be able to get out anytime soon, guys. Like, as I mentioned in the last video, college and everything else is click, kicked in. So, anything else. And the reason why I'm just getting cut off right here and get right into the video is because this video is 37 minutes long. Yeah. So, but, so go subscribe to Evan Royalty. He is a great great um, writer when it comes to the SCP stuff and a great director so I'm gonna go ahead and click play on this three two one not using keyboard mouse SCP what is Luna what are you doing for me off screen over here ah! come here set my lap Let's see if I restricted access and the password star 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 advertisement External drive. I didn't. My apologies for the discreet nature of this message. This was hardly something I could discuss with you in person or over the phone. It's come to my attention that your peers have called for an inquiry into Operation Ghost Town. I have no doubt that the forces who opposed Detachment Zero will be taking aim at them once again. I'm gonna be quiet for most now, of this because I want to understand what's going on. For your defense of them, I will, however, supply you with more information before the inquiry is underway. I feel like an evil and movie villain right now, just cutting Luna like this. Videos taken during the operation. This was initially meant for the training of Detachment Zero's blue team, but now it serves another use. As full discretion, while your peers will be receiving this video as evidence shortly, I wanted you to get this earlier. And from me, before the inquiry, not having been clouded by the opinions and agendas of others. I respect your intelligence and ability to see through rhetoric, but I do not trust in the meddling and tactics of Zero's detractors. I'm sure you understand. Kind of blanked out there for a second there. But I know, I kind of understand what's going on. The following video is restricted to O5 level staff. Only those in O5 level terror may view and distribute this video. Any unauthorized viewings of this video will result in immediate containment and further punishment as determined and summarily by O5 level staff. Also, really quickly, for those of you that are not over the age of, I don't know, 12 or something, I suggest you click off this video because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's not appropriate for children. And I'm, of course, talking about the blood and gore. And she jumped off my lap. Bye, shop. Video input. I can't see what that says. SCP in the bottom right. My quality up. Yeah, it's up. Camera views. Luna's gonna sit over there off screen. I can't force her to sit down. Okay, so this is another GTA video. Technology Group is not anti-security, General. Unless your issue is that you simply think we arrived here overdressed. Did this become a safe country while I wasn't looking? No, it did not. What is your offer? Well, that's what we're here to determine. We want access to whatever it is that you're hiding in your exclusion zone. How do you know what I have, person? Anybody do. Frankly, we don't. All we have are rumors. What kind of rumors? Depends who you ask. Your previous defector would have us think it was a discovery of great scientific significance. So are these I SCP agents or concentration camp for the rebels trying to usurp it? Spirit. The information is based only on the lies of a traitor in the blind case of your best on ideological lenses. We come as potential partners, General. We're not here to question your personal notions of human rights. What makes you think? God damn it, she wants out. One sec! I'm not even gonna close it completely because I know she'll come back in. 
Ah, shoot, I muted it. Go back five seconds. are not models that your current military backers own. My employers believe it is almost certain that you've already struck a deal. So, whatever they're offering you, my people can do better. There is no better deal to be made. My current partnership is in place. I see. Then why are we having this conversation, General? Because I believe Got an SCP problem. Kurilenko is an interested. Wouldn't move an inch. Ten four, Bishop. Moving to contingency alpha. Over. Yeah. I'll call you later. Oh, Bishop, not my shop. Oh, fuck. Rebel ambush. Section two, aftermath. O five approval just came through. Bishop, you want to tell them what you told me? General Kurilenko's death went off better than expected. All relations between the military government and their partners appear to have been frozen. As of this morning, there has been a total exodus of all non-military elements within the exclusion zone's compound. IOTA 10's source gives us about half a week at the least before they return. We still don't know who their partners are? Not a clue. Can't even find a middleman between the two groups. Partner or no partner, we still need to know what the General was hiding from us. O5 wants us to perform a recon off into the exclusion zone. Once inside the target area, you'll do a full SSE on anything we can get our hands on. A secondary team will provide an escort up to the border, but after that, as usual, the infiltration team is on their own. The team one should come into contact with anything anomalous. The containment team will remain on standby for when you're back here. Our goal is to maintain a minimal presence, so that means no air support, save for an ISR drill. Comms will be bouncing off them, so don't worry about light of sight. If compromised, you will not stand your ground. Get out of there with whatever means you can. Any questions? No? All right. Let's try to get this plan developed by tonight. If you have any mission code ideas, whiteboard's over there. Section three, mobilize. I can't, I can hardly see the names. Shinobi, this is Sakari 1-1. Radio check, over. Sakari 1-1, this is Shinobi. Read you loud and clear, over. I can hardly read it. Whatever he put over the video, I can't really read it. But I know this is the GTA video that they made here's like I can some of the names I can read Lance like, this is all GTA motions because I was just I know that for a fact because I was playing GTA I'll screen for like the last few days okay so his name is Fox Is 
still. Don't they have silencers on their weapons? I'm not gonna lie, the texture that he has over the video, it's kinda hurt in my eyes. I can hardly see what's going on and I have good vision. they're trying to sneak into the base. I choose to talk at the wrong times of the video, so don't I? Shinobi, this is Sakari 1-1. We passed Serpruga. Over. Because I, I can hardly read what's going on. I can hardly see, too. Whatever text she has over it, I'd like to dim it out a little bit. Some real food. What, MREs on real food? Gentlemen, get some rest. They're not, MREs are We're not real food. Watch. They really aren't. This coyotes? Because I know there's coyotes in GTA 5. Only in the story mode, though. Hey, Kim. Do you think your brain was trying to tell you something? No, no, no. Possibly. I always wanted to have gotten here earlier. It's an old feels. I was like all the problems are already coming around now. And you don't have to stop. It can always get worse. <laughs> have a ba How do you forget you have a bag of Milky Ways? <laughs> Sorry, I have to go back really quickly. That was funny to me. That was funny to me. <laughs> That's just hilarious to me. I don't know if it's hilarious to you guys. It's like an oh sh like an oh like a memory just kicked back in at the la So where exactly are they in this video? Shinobi. Europe? This is a Russia? We have passed Madoff. Over. Good copy, 1-1. One, one. Over. Roger, Shinobi. 1-1 one, one out. What was that? Just put yourselves in the briefing. Doesn't look like it was built yesterday. This looks pretty fucked up. You know, if you think about it, some crazy cover in that summer's cover and shit is in really old enough. It is Eastern Europe, so this is, yeah, it is. The last surface, down there in the middle. What do you fear that thing is? They might have something on it. Documents, records on what this place is for that we can grab. What do you guys think about these guards? We could interrogate them, get some intel. Got the amnesiacs to make it happen. It's amnestics, Lance. Fucking amnestics. Negative. Nobody speaks the language. Stick to the fucking plan. All 
I know they're trying to sneak into a facility without getting spotted, but there are is a slim chance that they will get spotted. Usually always happens. One one to all security one elements. Got a door over here. Gonna take Lance with me and check it out. Expect weak comms. Over. Wait, Eastern Europe. It took me a second to think for a second there. They're in Russia! Because they also said they couldn't understand the language. Remember to photograph any physical documents. Be thorough. If they catch us here, we're not going to be able to make a second trip. What about you, sir? You got any plans for tonight? I'm gonna go topside and try to get a better look at that platform. Roger that. Have fun. Error. I have him. Section 5 landing. Really hurt my eyes the way this is made. It actually really it doesn't make any more sense of place. No, it doesn't. Lance, you find anything on your end? The music just changed. Scar one, you have an unidentified bird inbound on your position. Over. Are you ever not fucking love right now? Shinobi, this is 1-1. One, one. Do you have any traffic on local comms that may explain why we're getting a visitor? Over. Damn it leads to more Sakari elements. It looks like their partners have betrayed the nerf slicer. But I'm guessing the local military didn't have the balls to shoot them down. Need Sakari 1 to remain at the site and observe any activity related to that bird. Over. Which one's Sakari 1? You could ha hardly see the numbers. and another guy. I don't think he's a shooter. He's got a briefcase with him. Fox, if we're compromised, light up that fucking bird. Roger that. We're keeping it spun up, so whatever they're here for, it's gonna be quick. That's not good. 
You need to get out of there right now. If I move, I'm burned. Yeah, if you don't move, who the fuck knows what'll happen? Shit. Yeah, you might want to run. Charlie Garthed? What did they One do? Was was he dead? Your little pet project when it went off. What happened to him? What happened? He's good as dead. Never gonna see him again. How? Well, if I uh, tell you guys anything, that's kind of asking for my employers to kill me. If you provide us with actionable intelligence and your employers catch on to it, I'd say you got a 50% chance of getting axed. However, if you don't tell us anything, I can make it a hundred percent. And because of you calling your friends, we don't have a lot of time to make that decision. Okay, okay fuck. Think we can work together? You've torn the place up. You can tell us yours anyways. What do you want to know? Let's start with this. Who do you work for? What, you guys don't know? I'm from the United Nations. Shit. You're kidding me right now. A little cold coalition. Should have figured your cucks were on this shit. You guys made a real big fucking mistake coming out here. I can say the same to you. So you guys are, what, SCP Foundation? Just a couple of friends came out here for a walk. Why is the UN here? What is that thing out there? Good question. Truth is, we don't have a clue. We guessed it was built under the Iron Curtain, but there's nothing from the old government on it. Iron Curtain was the wall between between That's East Germany and West Germany, Germany, just so you guys know. Locals only noticed it last year. The whole thing looks as if it just kind of showed up out of thin air. And by the way it functions, that doesn't sound that far-fetched. That shit you saw out there, that's its principal function. Periodically, without us activating it, the shit powers on and warps out any foreign bodies within its area of effect. The fuck's that, mate? As far as we know, it's like a rift. It goes from one dimension to another. It's clearly man-made, but I don't know how it works, or who the fuck made it. All we know is that it works. Anything standing on it is tossed out of our reality in an instant. Does it go too wise? I mean, yeah, kinda. It'll fire up again in a bit, at which point anything can return. After that, it closes for another season. Runs like clockwork. What's the military government getting out of all this? I don't know everything, but from what I hear on the grapevine, immunity. In return for our use of the anomalous object, the UN will overlook the human rights violations committed on part of the military government. They won't let us move it out, and the exclusion zone has been put up under the worry that other rifts might come through in this area. But there isn't a lot of evidence to back that up. I'm sure there's a strategic advantage involving the Civil War, but I'm not sitting in on those conversations. Love me some dirty politics. Save your fucking moralizing. You people are no better. You mentioned earlier. A person can safely enter and exit the rift machine without ordeal. Why do you assume our friend is dead? Well, well, that's, uh, because of how we use it. Explain. Okay, so the dimension itself, it's not particularly active. From our limited observation of it, we haven't been able to find anything inhabiting it other than birds, insects, and rodents. It was clearly inhabited by someone, at some point, due to the fact that there's infrastructure present, but we don't know what happened. However, it remains a useful asset to the GOC. Internally, we call it Black Horizon. If you're an informed party, you'll know our mission statement is the acquisition and subsequent destruction of anomalous entities. Well, this is what happens when we encounter that which we cannot destroy. Captured assets are transported here and dumped into the rift machine. If we can't kill them, well, we might as well be pushed out of our way. Makes them good as dead. Dumb motherfuckers. So our friend is in that fucking place where there's a load of unkillable anomalies. I mean, yeah, basically. Can we get a signal through? Section 7, stand, strayed. Stra stranded, that's the word.
What the fuck? What the hell is that? Oh, so he's the team leader. <laughs> oh no. He has to go back and hang in the middle of the air. With all the anomalies, it's not going to be easy. I almost said easy. I can't even make out what that is. So they he can hear them, but they can't hear him. Until the bad guys show up. The TL? If he heard me, he's in no position to reply. 1 1 is officially MIA. As such, I'm assuming command of this fire team. Pass the word on to Shinobi. Got his approval to extract our new best friend. So, what do we do now? We can win the TL. Negative. You with the men. Door closes in a bit. And it goes two ways. We're gonna make contact with the enemy way before that happens. You make it sound like it's a bad thing. He comes out of there. And we're not here to support him. He's going to be taken captive. Then what's already a major incident is going to get a lot fucking worse. We don't have a choice but to defend this position until that gate closes. Look, I like the guy a whole lot, but we don't know what's in there. He could be infected. You've got the anomaly manifest. Pass them over to base and let talk work it out with the containment team. Right now, we need to get our prisoner ready to extract. Lance, he's your charge. Meanwhile, Pierce and I will move the bodies, kick some dirt over the blood, and deploy explosives for an ambush. Roger that. Oi, where do you keep the keys to the MRAPs? <laughs> Prisoner secure and out cold. Fox, where you want me? He punched them. So why don't they why don't they call it you in? Know what I just realized. What's up? I was in the middle of watching the last season of the Wire before we started this up. It sounds like my idea. I'll never get now it fucking ends. Anyway, as I was saying, why don't they call it in that their friend is stuck in another dimension and they had that they need backup? <clears throat> when they send, in, send another team to help defend them until they get him out of there. Probably gonna be something in the hallway. How did I call it? I haven't even seen this yet. And I called it. What the hell happened? That's glass. See you. Trust me. You'll be 
Apparently there's somebody else stuck there. Some guy on radio. I actually made my hard jump skip a beat. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting whatever it was to push him away from the door for him to run away from it. Ah! <laughs> my heart literally skipped a beat. Section 8. Skirmish. He's a maniac running in there. I got RPGs. Get them while they're down. God damn it. How many enemies are there? I remember seeing that in GTA 5. I'll have to check the workshop later. The vehicle manifest. Yeah, I wouldn't. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. Oh shit. I would never do that in a million years. No way. I'm afraid of heights. Walked right into a firefight. Go copy one four. 
Section 9, Exodus. Exodus. Shinobi to Sakari 2. Be advised, Team 1 is two mics out. Over. Solid copy, Shinobi. Weapons ready and standing by for Team 1. Over. This is Hancock. I've got eyes on the target vehicles. Ready for detonation. <laughs> Jesus. This is the most action-packed one yet I've seen from these guys. Get the fuck out of this shithole. Enemy laptop secured. It's time to move. Site 19, 198. If you're feeling a bit left out when we give you back, my people could make use of someone like you. A mall within the GSC is invaluable. What do you think? Save it. You think I'm gonna work for you guys? Do you even know what your employers actually want? What their actual end game is? Do you? So many interested parties shaking hands. How can intent ever be ascribed to your superiors? For all their faults, my people are insular enough to keep our ideological framework focused. And my people are legitimate. You're just a fucking outlaw, Steve. You guys act without the consent or will of the people, breaking international law and causing irreparable damage to foreign nations. You are completely without borders or respect for the geopolitical consequences of your actions. But we act with the superior doctrine. You're all the same damage and more, but for nothing. In addition to that, as evidenced by Black Horizon, remain unable to completely fulfill your own mission goals. Your necessity is refuted by your own actions. What are we done here? That's it? Oh, we're at the end. Hold up. Just a little bit more. Okay. And on that note, we're going to end this video here. That was really intriguing. That was a lot more action-packed than the last two that I've seen. I, I saw First Contact, and last and about a week or two ago, I reacted to Dollhouse. This one out of the three I've seen is the most action-packed one yet. And this one was really well done. Well done. I got that, that, that jump scare, though, with the, with the ghostly-figured woman. Made my heart actually skip a beat. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting the complete opposite, where the thing, whatever it was beyond the door, comes in, kicks him out of the way, and throws him in, and sends him flying. I was expecting the complete opposite. And who the hell was... Who, who else was in there? There was somebody else there. I don't know who it was. Left. Well, on that note, guys, we're going to end this video here. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, guys, and I'll see you more when I have more SCP videos for you guys. So, bye!